Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Truth Behind MIUI Updates. This time we are talking about the POCO X3 Pro episode 2 on the POCO X3 Pro and in the first episode we did a bunch of interesting things. This episode is going to be exciting as well but before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so POCO X3 Pro here. Yeah, I know this is a K20 Pro, the Mi 11X. Just ignore them for now. This video is about the POCO X3 Pro. So in the first episode, we downgraded the phone to the Indian ROM of 12.0.4. We checked the benchmark numbers. I shared my opinions. And now since the last two days, I've had this wonderful OS that is 12.0.5 installed. And the reason I say wonderful is because if you have a look over here, the fluidity for me, the experience increased, the experience got better. But this thing over here, see, the stutters that you see over here, they have still not improved substantially. Now, it still comes with the POCO launcher. You still have Android 10 gestures and all those things. But the scrolling, the 120 hertz refresh rate felt a little better. I mean, even if the, they have not mentioned this in the change log, things did feel better. So let's quickly have a look at this particular update. So let's go to settings over here. Okay, and then let's go to about phone. No, I'm not updating right now. All specifications, 12.0.5 global stable, first April security patch, Android version 11. Right now, a lot of you have been telling me to shoot videos on the light mode but sometimes there are issues shooting in light mode. That's the reason we are shooting in dark mode. Now, as you can see over here, everything about the OS has been mentioned and I'm bone stock, I've not rooted, I'm not doing anything, just some game, games and benchmarks installed to test this versus the previous update. Now the goal over here is to find out that by giving an update, is Xiaomi making the phone better or are they slowing it down? Now in this case, it seems the first option because the phone has gotten subsequently you know better significantly smoother in 12.0.5 compared to 12.0.4 and i did feel that you know the fps was pretty stable as well while gaming and i might do a complete gaming test on this rom you don't really know so we do have things like antutu geekbench and the cpu throttle test so one by one let's quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers all right now let's talk about comparison in the first episode in 12.0.4 the cpu had throttled to 67 percent of its peak performance and the average score was 184,628 gips now over here throttling is a bit less it did throttle towards the end but still throttling was less in in the first uh, you know 12.0.4 it did throttle significantly but over here the average performance dropped to 166,992 so what it actually did, did is it gave you consistent performance but not that high and over here you do see that you know there are regular blocks of throttle if you take a screenshot of this video you will notice that mixed reaction over here yeah it did throttle less but then the overall performance score decreased as well now moving on let's compare antutu benchmark compared to 12.0.4 over here so in the first video in 12.0.4 that particular update scored 563,286 this scored 567,274 now remember the testing method that we follow we make sure that the phone is cooled down all the applications are installed no downloads are going on in the background we put the phone to flight mode or we put the phone to you know we switch it off for 10-15 minutes to allow it to cool down and then we go ahead and run the benchmark once a benchmark is done, we go ahead and do the same with the second and third benchmark to get, you know, the best results possible through that particular update. So the Antutu score has definitely increased by, I don't know, maybe 4000 odd points, which is a pretty significant jump. Now let's talk about Geekbench over here. So let's quickly go to Geekbench. Now in the first test on 12.0.4, 
the Geekbench score was 736 single core, 2672 multi core. Okay, now over here it is 750 single core and 2710 multi core. Now, in an ideal situation, you would tell me that Kalash, you know, the scores have improved, the performance would be leaps and bounds better. No, but I will tell you this if you are on 12.0.5 and you've held on to not update to any any version at all 12.0.5 from 12.0.4 feels a significantly better performing update at least 5 to 10 percent improvement of performance is reflecting in the synthetic benchmarks at the same time the ui the consistency of frame switching and stuff feels pretty pretty better but overall you know despite having such a powerful processor i don't know why the poco x3 pro has not received good software from day one because with a snapdragon 860 this phone should be flying in miui because if you give the right version like miui china to the redmi k20 pro this baby just flies and kill, kills it all trust me it it really really does that so all in all 12.0.5 compared to 12.0.4 is a much better update you can go ahead and try it if you're an unlocked bootloader you can go ahead and downgrade it remember we are going to check one by one all software versions for all the three devices and you will constantly keep getting these videos so that you know which is the best MIUI version and the main question is Xiaomi slowing down your device or not let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps keep smiling take care goodbye